NASA's Parker Solar Probe lifted off early Sunday morning from a pad at Cape Canaveral in Florida. The probe will travel faster than any craft ever has on a mission to explore the sun's atmosphere. Michael Cowan from our partners at BBC News has a look. Two, one, zero. Lift off. Into the night and on its way to touch the sun. A daring mission to shed light on the mysteries of our closest star, the sun. NASA's Parker Solar Probe will get closer to the sun than any spacecraft before it, actually dipping into the sun's atmosphere. Equal trajectory looking good right down the middle of the range track. The probe was named after the 91-year-old solar physicist Eugene Parker, who was at the launch. All I can say is, wow, here we go. We're in for some learning over the next several years. It'll travel at 120 miles each second, faster than any other probe. Even so, it'll take three months to reach the sun, passing Venus on the way. The spacecraft will spend seven years looping around the sun, and it'll get hot, 1,300 degrees Celsius. We have a wonderful heat shield that uh, we keep oriented between uh, us and the sun. And so it keeps everything in the main body of the spacecraft nice and cool. It kind of creates a shadow. And it has a white coating on it that was specially designed for Parker Solar Probe. Very much like you prefer to be in a white car on a hot day instead of a black car on a hot yes. day. The probe will study the sun's atmosphere, which can be seen from Earth during a total eclipse. Shimmering and beautiful from so far away, violent and tumultuous close up. This is a real picture from a previous mission. The Parker probe will look even closer. It's really important that we study the sun because it affects our lives on Earth in so many ways. So there's a lot we don't understand about the sun. For example, the sun's atmosphere is far hotter than its surface, which is the opposite of the case on the Earth. And we don't really understand why. And Parker Solar Probe will help us understand those things for the first time. The northern lights are caused by particles spat out by the solar atmosphere. These same particles can disrupt power grids and communications. By studying the sun, scientists hope to be able to predict these events and learn more about a star on which all life on Earth depends.